Yo, 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 what is up, my fellow BN tubers? Cesario for the barrio. Coming back at you with another video for your butt. <coughs> for your <coughs> butt. And, um, man, so doing a video response for John's Field, Don's Field the Dream, <laughs> Don Johnson. He wants you to show a video about a card. He wants you to show a card uh, that has sentimental value to you and talk about why it has sentimental value to you. You know, a, a story behind it brings you feelings. That's uh, something you always remember. Um, so I right away thought about this card because um, you know one day my um, my sister called me and tells me my nephew really wants to ride the bus. He's like. In love with buses, like you know, probably watching the Max School Bus back then. You know, and back then, my sister knew that when I was a teenager, I rode the buses all the time because I was a tagger, and I was going to school at a CDC, so I had access uh, to bus passes. You know, uh, made a small amount of change selling some illegitimate bus passes because I had access to them, which, in hindsight, was probably a uh, Pretty serious crime. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I knew all the bus routes. And there was two right next to my house on my block. Two different ones. So I went to go pick them up. Came to my house. Parked. And we were walking towards the bus stop. Uh, the first bus stop that we were crossing, which wasn't ours, there was this on the ground. You know? It was on the floor. Uh, right underneath the bus stop bench. So, you know, my nephew seen it. And I pick it up. And it's this Troy Tulowitzki rookie card. You know, back then, Troy Tulowitzki was like a big, big thing. Um, pick it up. I uh, put it in my, I think I had a, I put it in my breast pocket. <laughs> breast. Uh, put it in my breast pocket and we keep on walking to the bus stop. We get on the bus and man, my nephew is just having the time of his life. Just riding on the bus, you know, simple pleasures. So we're talking and uh, we pass with well, the bus. We cross the bus, the the train tracks, and he and he sees the thing. He's like, oh, "I want to ride that. I want to ride that." You know, so he wants to get on the train. So I was like, "Oh, do you like trains?" And so he was like, "Tell me how oh, trains this and trains that." So at Griffith Park, which is about maybe half hour away, but on the bus it takes longer because of the stops. It's like an hour and a half, it seemed like. Uh, but he was enjoying the bus ride the whole way. We switched buses and started going to the Griffith Park where they have this like train museum, like actual old school vintage trains that you could get on and you know, so has little also little train rides. We we go to the train place, man, the train museum, man. He's having the time of his life, man. Felt like me and my nephew were really bonding, you know what I mean? Like big time, like whoa, like oh man, he just like thinks I'm the greatest uncle ever. And so we're having a great time and going on all these trains, right? Um, then uh, we're done with that and on the way home you know on the bus I remember like just tell, you know talking about the trains and the buses and this and that and then I I was telling him about the the baseball card and I was at him yeah you can have it when you go home you you know and I have it but I'm gonna keep it in my pocket for now and he was all right yeah. and um so it was cool man I mean we bonded um, go home I get in my car and then on my way to my sister's house, I'm thinking like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the car wash, man. He's gonna love it, you know. He's gonna love the car wash, and, you know, like just top off the the day. So we get in the, you know, we go through the drive through car wash when we stop, and then once those rollers start going, and it starts throwing water, and it's co it starts coming towards our way. My nephew just starts screaming like, ah! Ah! and he. Jumps on the back seat, you know. Then the those things are going towards the back seat, and then he's just screaming. I'm like, no, come down, come down, hey, chill, chill. And he's like, ah! he goes from the back and he jumps to the front, and I'm trying, I'm trying to grab him, man. And he's fighting me, and the thing comes back, and ah! Ah! and and he's just screaming like kids do, man. And you know, like, and I couldn't stop him from screaming. So I mean, the whole thing took like four or five minutes. It was like. The worst part of five minutes ever. 
Like, I just couldn't stop him from crying. And he kept running back and forth on the seats like a little monkey, you know, just jumping back and forth. Um, and when the thing finally stopped, he just starts like, I want to go home. I want to go home, you know. And, I, and I'm taking him home. And uh, right before we get to his house, to my sister's house, I'm like, here, you know, here, here's your car. Try to make him feel better. And I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want my mom. I want my mom. And um, go to his house and get there. And he's yelling for my sister. My sister's like, what happened? And I just told her. And she's like, oh, yeah. That happened to me, too, before. Like, we went to the car wash and thought he was going to like it. And it just didn't. You know, she's like, I should have told her. I was like, How? You, you weren't going to know I was going there. But, yeah, man. I mean, it went from having, like, the greatest five hours to, like, the worst five minutes ever. You know? And, um, and I, I miss my nephew. You know? I miss my nephew. You know, he's gone. He left, he left, um, like, about a year ago, year and a half ago. You know, um, my sister moved to Arizona, you know, so obviously he moved with them, so he's gone. He went to, moved to Arizona. Uh, but I still see him in a great while. But I always hold in my heart this card, and, like, one day uh, I'll tell him that story because, like, I, he never mentions it. I don't think he remembers it. But one day when I'm old, I'm going to just tell him, remind, tell him that story and then, like, give him back the card. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, I don't know if sentimental means, like, per has to be a morbid story or whatever. But I get sentimental when I see this card and I think of my nephew all the time. You know what I mean? Try to get him into baseball cards, but he ended up going into Pokemon. But, yeah, I miss my nephew. Uh, I, I see him every once in a great while. But, yeah, that's the story of my... Uh, sentimental card and the reason why it is so love the hobby people you just keep collecting baseball cards forever I say check out Don's Field the Dreams enter his contest if you like Ciao! <clears throat> cheers I'm Vato Man. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you?